Okay, I have come to give a big bunch of dandelions to these two yews. This is the most mineral rich, nutritious thing I can give to these sheep. And they love them. Absolutely love dandelions. Sheep love dandelions because it's the most nutritious food growing in the fields. There you go. And here you can see there's several different kinds. There's, whoops, she's pulling them out. But anyway, so you can see this is one kind. You see the shape of the leaf. Then you look at this one here. You look at the shape of that leaf. Those are two different kinds of dandelions. There might be a third one. Whoops, you're gonna tip them out the back of the shed here. There you go. So mineral rich food for the last two ladies. I'll bring a bunch of dandelions into the orchard and you'll see how the yews will all eat my bunch of dandelions. Yum, 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 yum. Little Luster was having a, a play in the hay. Yeah! Yeah! Sorry, that was Lacquer playing in the hay. This is Luster having a sup of milk. Yum, 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 yum. I'm bringing up a bunch of dandelions. And I'll show you, even though these sheep have lots of lovely grass in here, I am going to be letting them out into another pasture later today. Come on. Let's go up the orchard laneway. Hey, ear feather. Come on. Got to close the gate. Plenty of grass in here. Hey, beautiful. How are you? Oh, here's Ear Feather with her two lambs. Sheep love clover. Um, clover, God, my head is still fried. They love dandelions. So good for their, um, for the minerals. Hey girls, oh, you're lame again. All the lambs, all the sheep love dandelions. <laughs> hey, your feather. Yes, yeah, sweetie. They're all coming for thinking they're, thinking they're going to get a second breakfast when they're not. Now, there's plenty of grass still in here, but I want to use this for nighttime accommodation. So I'm going to be moving the flock to daytime grazing in another field. 
and then in the evenings we'll bring them somewhere else. This yeah is over here. I want to check her out, her lambs. They're looking fine. Ooh, look at that lovely stretch. Yes, babies. Looking good. And sadly, we only have one active hive at the moment. This one here. That's the only active hive that we have of the beehives. So hopefully swarms will come and fill, accommodate the others. But the wasps did a lot of damage last year in stealing food. So this year I'm gonna put, um, make the entranceways smaller during wasp season, which is July, August, when the wasps steal food. So the wasp protector thing means you close off most of that, so there's only one hole for the honeybees to protect. And I didn't do that last year, my fault. But we have loads of other pollinators here. Now I wanna check this yo and her lamb that's all the way down here. Make sure she's okay. Hey you, how are you? Ah, uh, here's Lacey and her brother. Little Lacey is the gray one. Very sweet. Hey you, how are you? Oh, see that is exactly what you like to see in a lamb. A lovely stretch when it gets up. And the noisy neighbors, cows. Okay, everybody's looking good. <laughs> Little bit, you looking for me? Have you abandoned your lamb somewhere? Is your lamb abandoned? Yeah, you good girl, yes. All looking good. And plenty of grass and stuff to eat. You can see plenty of grass, but I'm still gonna move them on to another pasture for daytime grazing. And then in the evenings, they come in here for shelter and protection and they've got the sheds. But before I move them, I have to make sure they're not in this, in the garden paddock and that yo has just gone back in there and I'm gonna have to herd her out. What are you doing? Ah, look, there's more lambs. Ah, more lambs, okay. I'm gonna leave them all here. There's three lots. I'll leave them here until later when the field is ready to move and everybody else is now coming in. <laughs> oh, look at that. Everybody else is coming in now. Anyway, that's for now.